Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane. And today I am going to share with you my collection of coach catalogs. Uh, I did a video previously about my Louis Vuitton catalogs. And uh, my coach collection is far more extensive. And so this first catalog is from 2000. It is the holiday collection from that year. And let's see if we can see what's in here. They had probably just recently started their website. A lot of websites started doing e-commerce in 98 and 99. But this was, they were still doing a lot of mail order. As you can see in the middle, you can go ahead and order everything and then put it in this envelope, mail it. <laughs> All right, so I would say in this era, they were still doing a lot of very um, classic, um, conservative leather, glove tan leather shapes and colors. Uh, a lot of black, there's some red plaid, Again, this is their holiday catalog, so a lot of gift ideas. They had just started doing their signature right here. This is actually in wool. This is a wool little demi bag. It's very cute. And they have another one up here. So yeah, I didn't, I don't even know if I bought anything from this collection. And I think I even, the only reason I even have this catalog is because that's really cool too. At the time I was working for gap.com in San Francisco in our office, we had just lots of different catalogs from different uh, fashion companies. Look at that. I love that little cosmetic case. Yeah. It's a wool cosmetic case, $68 for that. And that I believe is Marissa Tomei. She must have been doing an ad campaign for them. Oh, this one has um, perforations on it. Really cute. The leather was, I assume, amazing. I'm not sure if their manufacturers had moved to China by 2000. Probably they had. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can put your you can put your Palm Pilot in there. Oh my gosh, yeah. So you can tell how old this is. But yeah, a lot of a lot of work stuff. Not a lot of fun uh, fashion, you know, bags. A lot of a lot of what Coach had always done, which is just very simple classic designs. So yeah, that is from 2000. No color really, except for red, and maybe a little bit of gold, but a lot of blacks and browns. So that is from 22 years ago. And then the next catalogs I have are all. 2004 through 2008. And this is a cute, small sized booklet. It is, uh, this one is, this first one here is staple, staple bound, but this one is glue bound with that. I don't know if you're gonna see that, this kind of binding on it, flat binding. And look how cute that is. <laughs> They put so much work into these catalogs. I doubt they still do them. Uh, the photography is amazing. The styling is amazing. If you guys remember any of these collections, please comment down below. This is uh, 2004. I was actually had some great stuff. These little wristlets. I actually had one of these. I think it's in here. This bag was so cool. This was the vintage signature satchel. It had suede on the pocket, metallic leather. Uh, there was a little pocket on the side with a turn lock. It was basically a Boston bag or a speedy type of style. Um, I had one in red and of course, you know, I sold it. But, and then you had these grommet suede bags. Um, yeah, this was a great collection. If you find these on eBay, like look at that. Look how cool that is. Unfortunately, when you find these on eBay these days, they are usually not in great condition. This is the mini signature. Uh, I think I had one of these in brown. I got it at Nordstrom and I was really excited because it was one of my first coach bags. And so I was pretty 
proud of having that little pouch with the buckle on it. This is from the Soho collection. And a lot of cashmere, wool scarves, really nice quality. Um, Hamptons was another one they did a lot in the mid 2000s, which was a little more ladylike, professional with bright colors. They also did a bunch of these duffels, slim duffels. And look at that, they even had a tiny bag key charm, bag charm back then. And this was cool. This was like the slim duffel, but it was like pieced suede. And look, look at those big, huge boot cuts. That's how you know. She's probably wearing low rise jeans too. So a lot of suede, tons of suede. This is a fall catalog, obviously. Yeah. Little uh, houndstooth tweed pattern. Another really nice one. So that is from fall 2004, and uh, gosh, I should have showed this one first. This is from spring 2004, so same year, springtime, and I don't know if I actually loved this collection very much because it was a little too girly girly for me, and bucket hats, those are back. And this model was on the cover of their catalog for like two years straight. Look at that scooter. Oh my God, this is a Vespa. This is a coach Vespa scooter. Look at that. My goodness. I bet they sold a couple of those. So cute. And then remember this dog? They had a lot of dog stuff. And I don't know if they even do that anymore, but they had a lot of dog coats back then too and uh, leashes and stuff like that. So this is also 2004. This must be another fall. It could be holiday or pre-fall. Lilac, really big. Look at these little top handles, oh my gosh. I sort of wish they would do stuff like this again, but you know, they want the suede though, I mean, the thing is, is let it just gets dirty and rubs off so quickly. So this is one I have. I own this. And it is so nice. It is super high quality. The, the leather is like butter. There's little studs on the handle or the wrist strap. And it is just the nicest vintage signature khaki denim. They also did it in um, like a Bordeaux red and all these other colors. What's this coolest wristlet? This is a cool optic signature. It's got suede. There's actually a little baby one. Um, the Chelsea optic signature. It was in a, a small hobo and a large hobo. That would be cool to have. There's that mini signature flap. And these are the bags that came with that wristlet. Really nice quality. This is that Jacquard signature fabric. And I wish I had one of these hats too. Mm -hmm. Pretty rad. Do we have any more 2004? No, this is 2005. So the catalog then got really small for a little while. It was, this might've just been, this is the kind of thing where they'd have a stack of these on the counter or they'd throw it in your shopping bag when you uh, sh checked out, they just give you one of these. And also they would come in the mail too. If you're on the mailing list, then if you get these in the mail. So this one is slimmer and doesn't have as many pages. So it just has a few items. This is definitely spring 2005 when I got married. I did not like that. I did not like this at all. This is the scribble signature. And I think they were trying to kind of ride the Louis Vuitton multicolor monogram. And I think Dooney and Burke did one too, and they got sued by Louis Vuitton. But um, this was like multicolor, you know, monogram or signature. And I, I hated this. I just thought it looked so childish. It looks like a crayon drawing. I just did not like it one bit. There was one bag from this collection that I did buy, which was this shoulder tote. The patchwork, it was really popular. If I can get the glare off of there. 
I bought that and I, I bought the matching wristlet too. This one was so popular that it was actually heavily faked as well. And the fakes looked absolutely terrible. Um, but the bag itself, I really loved. It was really comfortable to wear on the shoulder, really slouchy. It held a ton. And I wore that one, I mean, for a long time. This was back in 2005 when I was just starting to dip my toe into Louis Vuitton, but not really. And I really only had like two or three bags that I owned. And uh, they were all coach, I think, except for maybe a Kate Spade bag as well that I had. Anyway, so that was 2005. And this is, um, oh, this is a heavier, I think this is holiday. Probably... Yeah, holiday 2005, maybe, we'll see. Yes, lots of fur. So they did tons of fur in this collection. It's all rabbit, I believe. And I think this might be the bag that Caleb Snell uh, just bought and revealed on his channel, or at least it's definitely the same collection. And uh, yeah, I did I did not get any of the fur either. I think because, well, it was just really expensive for me at the time. Oh yeah, and also, of course, the initial charms. And yes, I did get the J and I still have it. Um, they, let's see if I can find the price. These are not expensive. Um, $28 each. And so you could, you know, if your name was short like mine, you could theoretically get your entire name, or you could spell something like, you know, fun <laughs> or coach or something. But yeah, um, they ran out of these all the time. And then they started like going for a lot of money on eBay. Um, they're really super cute. They um, like almost all of coach back then. It was only silver hardware. If you can, if you want to look more closely at all these bags, they were doing almost exclusively silver hardware on everything and that has obviously changed a lot maybe it just you know fell out of fashion really oh look at that it's an ipod case <laughs> i'm pretty sure i had one of their ipod cases too and still 2005 god they did so many of these look at that they did so many of these catalogs this is the one that had studs and crystals so much embellishment and detail I mean, just gorgeous. Oh, there's another one that I, I really wanted. I think because I wanted those shoes too. This was an awesome bag. It was just a simple shoulder flap with a buckle. And it had a satchel as well. Yeah, this is definitely holiday. 2005. So the holiday they did right before resort, I guess. I mean, they did, I mean, like I said, they did. They must have put out one of these every couple of months. They must have printed a new one of these. And these catalogs, as I said in the other video, are so expensive to make. I mean, this is high quality paper, photography, layout. I mean, giving these away for free. It was a huge marketing expense. And they, for whatever reason, they stopped doing it. Maybe they felt like that was not they were not getting a return on it. But I mean, these are wonderful. I wish more companies would do this again, but paper and printing uh, in the last 20 years has become prohibitively expensive. I mean, you can see newspapers, just newspapers shrinking and getting smaller and smaller because printing is so expensive. This is, uh, this is the bucket that I wanted. I wanted this tote so bad in this color. I just love those pinks and browns together and it came with like suede pom-pom on it. And I was so in love with that and I never got it. I never got it because it was just always possible to get. It was sold out every time. And I would look at all the department stores and it was gone. I could probably get it now on eBay, but, you know, it certainly is not going to look new. Did not like this at all. This patchwork of, like, different sizes of signature, I thought that was super ugly. <laughs> this is my opinion. Let's see, and then here is a mini catalog they did for holiday that year. And you could write down on this piece of paper everything you liked. And look, here's and there's even like a list of everything with check boxes. It's like a mini version with just a few of the things that they were pushing for holiday. 
just gifts basically just gift ideas for that year and let's see this would 2005 again gosh 2005 was the year i went to coach all the time apparently and this is a uh, your spring oh, look at these do you guys remember these little um coin purses shaped like fruit they had them in green yellow and orange Ugh, these uh, these are so cute and they had like ladybugs all over the place this must be that green that Winnie B has on her bag. So that was Hamptons. It's probably in this catalog. So there's the tote. Apple green, it's so pretty. Here is more of that color, colorful signature, giant signature. And this looks like it was in one of the other catalogs too. All this springtime stuff. Yep. This is the same stuff. So they probably just printed out different versions of the same collection. Yeah, this is that scribble stuff again. And bright colors. This is like the picnic basket, the picnic set. Can you imagine? I don't know. <laughs> Boots. Yeah, I remember that was everywhere. Oh, and a watermelon. It's adorable. I think I had that one. Either that or I had the lemon. Uh, yeah, look at the orange one with the different sections. Yeah, they don't make them like that anymore. I wish they would. Look at that orange. That's really pretty. That coat is insane. Is that a coat or a shirt? I don't know, but it's a bit much. So this catalog is also 2005. And this is when they introduced Poppy collection and the Poppy, you know, motif on everything, which later turned into a whole uh, collection that they did that was more like supposed to be more youthful. Yeah. It's just this applique of suede and embroidery, super detailed and cute. I really like these totes. Oh yeah. And they also did this fringe duffel. It's just like fringe suede. That must have been in at the time. I know Louis Vuitton did a fringed multicolor speedy in a 25 size. It was really uh, expensive and super limited. Super limited. It was insane though. It had like fringe and beads all over it. Finally, 2006. And yeah, this is another very small catalog. Oh, I actually own this. This pieced orange, yellow, and gold wristlet. It's really cool. It is the Ombre Pieced Wristlet, $98. That's a nice wristlet, and I am not getting rid of it. And here is the little lemon coin purse with a chain on it and a little leaf. Super nice. Little um, flip flop. But they were doing like shoe charms before Hermes, I think. I'm pretty sure they were. That's very cool. That's really cool. See, this style is completely back in now. This Crescent Hobo. This You could buy this right now. Um, this is 600 bucks in 2006. So it's strange how the prices have just changed around so much. I mean, Coach was an expensive, expensive brand back then. But they also did tons of advertising and their details were amazing. Their designs were all very creative and different. They put out tons of um, collections all the time. This one was like a linen giant signature pouch. Pouches are back in again. It's funny how everything just comes full circle. There's another iPod case. You can put your iPod in there. A, um, like a volleyball? What is that? It's a volleyball. You can get a coach volleyball. That's kind of cute, I guess, if you're really into beach volleyball. Um, yeah, so this is 2006. Again, this is all back in style again. Um, I had this too. This is an awesome denim patchwork tote. And I loved it except for God, it was heavy. It was so heavy. I mean, look at all this leather and hardware and pockets and stuff going on. But it was just freaking cool. It was just so cool. I almost wish I still had that tote. It also came in the shoulder tote. 
The denim is just, you know, super nice. Denim was hot back then. I mean, look at this. Look at this denim patchwork crescent hobo. 600 bucks. I mean, I mean, I would, I would totally buy that right now. But, you know, let's go to this one. This is more summer, spring, summer, and raffia. Look at this raffia bag. Holy crap. It's really nice with black, with like dark, 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 dark brown or black leather and stitching. I mean, just incredible, incredible detail on the stitching and the buckle and the studs. This thing's probably heavy too. Look at that. It's got a big old dog leash clip right in the middle for no reason, you know. Uh, back then, weight was not uh, really considered when we made these bags. Look at this thing. This thing weighed like four pounds, probably. And she just got it on her shoulder and she's like, yeah, this scribble thing would not go away yet. I mean, look at this. This is, I like some patchwork, but that is just hideous. They just took every single print and just threw it on one bag. I don't know. It's just not my style. I know it's some people's love it. Um, but yeah, I did not enjoy this particular collection for resort. It's just too much. I didn't like the bee because it looks like a silly cartoon bee. But yeah, at the time, bright pastels and different um, combinations of fabrics, prints, and look at that. They even did a, a silver scribble. Oh, well. Yeah. So that was 2006 spring. And this is one they did. This is all 2006. And this is the 65th anniversary collection. And this is another mini holiday campaign for this collection. Um, yeah, just a gift guide, basically, that you could just pick up at the store and just write down everything you wanted. You can see all the stuff. You could just write it down and give it to your partner and say, that's what I want. But this was the 65th anniversary catalog legacy. And this is when I started doing this amazing stripe and everything. And I bought, I mean, look at that. That is the alligator. $10,000 $10, alligator flap. Crazy. Yeah, this is the big time 65th anniversary collection. And lots of this really amazing leather and the whiskey color. I got a bag from this collection and later sold it because it was too heavy. I think I talked about, yeah, it was this one. So this bag is just absolutely stunning. Beautiful leather details. Um, it was seven hundred dollars. I think that for me that was like what I probably used um, a coupon because they still did the customer appreciation events all the time. So you, if you were invited to that, you get you know thirty percent off. So I probably got a discount when I bought this, but I loved it. And the inside lining was that satin legacy stripe. But oh my god, it weighed a ton. It weighed a ton. So, you know, I was carrying it to work with me with all my stuff in it and it just sucked. Anyway, I love the bag. I just, you know, bags back then, there wasn't really any consideration for comfort on the shoulder. And uh, then I went to um, Louis Vuitton coated canvas, which is just, you know, weightless. They also did these um, Zodiac bag charms. Again, so a lot of silver hardware for the charms. Um, you know, here is uh, another big heavy legacy bag. Cute cashmere scarf. I actually have a scarf from this collection too, and it's beautiful, incredible silk. It's probably, oh, look at that. It's probably one of my nicest um, silk scarves is the one from this collection. So this is the same. This is another 2006. Oh man, these bangles were cool. I had that striped bangle. I wish I still had it, but as I rec if I recall correctly, these bangles were circle circular and not oval, which meant they didn't fit well. I think I could be wrong, but if the if the bangle is a circle, 
instead of an oval. It will just bang on everything and not fit very well. This is that bag again. Um, you know, very heavy in white leather. <laughs> All the shopping bags were this rainbow, and I still have one of those too. And I don't know, do you guys do you guys remember this one too? I'm sure some of you do. Comment down below. What a cute card again. Yeah, so much of that um, legacy stripe throughout this year, 2006. And more patchwork just suede. Look at that. You could get that bag in ostrich. I don't know if it was ostrich embossed. More denim. Denim was still happening 2006 for sure. I mean, that's when I got my Louis Vuitton. Denim Speedy it was 2006. They're definitely not the only ones doing it. This is super nice. I have these shoes. I still have them. These wedge, wedge heels, denim. I still have those and they are pretty great. They are really cute. I should wear them this summer more than I did last summer. And then this is also fall 2006, but it's not part of the legacy campaign. It's like something else. I not digging, not digging this at all. A lot of boring totes. Oh, that's right. You could get your name on there. Wow. They were doing this before Louis Vuitton because Louis Vuitton Mon Monogram did not come out until 2008 or 2009. Maybe this is, this is 2006. So yeah, you could get your name on your coach tote or your initials. This is that, that tote I wanted again. Never got it. Yep, so this is all a whole lot of Soho. And, ugh, really ugly. <laughs> Multi signature patchwork did not like. I mean, I don't know. It just looks like a, like a fake or something to me. They're really like, kind of fakey looking to me. And believe me, there were so many coach fakes with that signature. It was awful. I'm, pretty, I'm sure there still are. But yeah, that is 2006. I have a couple more catalogs here from 2007. This one is the launch of the coach fragrance. And wow, this is just a giant bottle of perfume. Look at that. <laughs> and it did come with a little sample strip inside, which it still has kind of a little bit of a fragrance to it. This is from 15 years ago though, so it's not that strong. But yeah, this, uh, I believe that this is a, let's see, yeah, a spring catalog, 2007, and a lot, still lots of legacy stripe everywhere, and cute coach. Soho bags. This is a watercolor scarf and pouch. Really cute. Coach was really killing it this year. This year and 2006 were such good years. Look at this. This is for St. Patrick's Day. This little scarf. Absolutely adorable. And another little flip-flop bag charm key ring and these uh, basket bags are really cool again back back on trend this bag is really cool and I could not find a price for it it's a giant straw bag with um, hang tags attached all the way around leather hang tags I don't even know if they ever even made it it might be a runway bag but there's no price in here, so maybe it's like, well, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Anyway, yeah, the scribble was still hanging on and some kind of questionable um, patchwork designs, but there's that um, comic book um, bag charm 
which is now sought after. This was also when they introduced the Ergo bags, Ergo, and this was the year they did that, 2007. So there were tons of those in every possible material, in satin, in leather, and signature. Look a little, they even had a little key ring of an Ergo bag, a little tiny mini bag. Yeah, so that was 2007, and this is the last one from 2007. I actually had a couple more, but I'm not going to show them because they're a little bit repetitive because they were just marketing materials for, you know, different times of year, but often selling the same bags. This one is from fall 2007, and they had some really cool legacy bags. This is like a suede embossed. Uh, shoulder bag, some really nice wristlets, uh, here's that same bag I had again, <laughs> and it came out in um, fabric as well, which I assume was lighter. Yeah, this is the Hamptons Tattersall carryall, and yeah, lots of uh, stitching all over these bags too. Lots of focus on this contrast stitching. A ton of it. Oh, this is cute. I wonder what this was all about. There's a little lion bag charm. I wonder what that was. It's just a lion key fob more animals. I mean, Coach has always had the best um, bag charms. They still do have amazing bag charms. And uh, yeah, I have, this is the um, scarf I have, the Leg Legacy Concentric Scarf. Only 48 bucks for that silk scarf. Really beautiful. Little ballet flats. More Ergo bags and Ergo satchel. Or go tote. This one's really cool. This is like ugh, suede. I think it's pieced suede. This ergo tote patchwork. Six hundred and forty-eight dollars. Really cool. And there's another patchwork ergo bag. So they really pushed ergo for quite a while. There, it was their biggest line, and they had a lot available in that line. And then finally, my very last one for this video, this is 2008, and this was the Madison, when Madison Collection came out, which was also massive. And this one is more of a lookbook than a straight up catalog. But this, um, yeah, this was a top seller, huge seller for 2008 and nine, I remember well, adorable. I'm trying to get a good picture of the actual bag. This is a lot of editorial photography. And this is the um, op art uh, satin print, it was really cool. A lot of patent leather too. Oh, this is, yeah, this is probably when we break off. Began as the editorial creative director. So yeah, as you can see, this is not the same as a catalog. I don't even know if there's gonna be any prices or anything in here or names of bags. <laughs> it's just a lot of photography. So I can't remember, is this, yeah, this was mailed to me. That has my address, my old San Francisco address. Um, more of a promotional um, item than actual, you know, marketing. But I remember this. This was super cool. This is this large Sophia in the embroidered op art signature. The Sophia, I think, was the big seller for this um, this line. Sophia, and then there was a bag called the Audrey, which was a satchel. 
that is just about it. Oh, and then there's a new fragrance, another fragrance, Legacy. Again, I never even opened this to smell it. I wonder if the fragrance is still in here. Mm, that's very sweet. That is a sweet fragrance, not really my style. It looks like we do have a few prices and information back here, but I'm not gonna really go over that. And that's it. That is my coach catalog collection. I'll just get them all kind of spread out here. So many, I don't know, I didn't show every single one because some of them were literally the same thing with a different cover. They just changed the cover and had the same pages inside, which, you know, saved a little bit of money too. But that is everything. All right. Thank you so much for watching this long video today. I hope that you found it entertaining and educational. Please leave a comment below. What do you think of uh, Coach from this era? Do you have any of these catalogs? Did you collect any of these bags? Do you still have them? Uh, did you ever want some of these and you couldn't get them? Let me know. Thank you for, again for watching. And if you have a minute to subscribe, I would really appreciate that too. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.